everyone. So, how are you doing today? How was your day? Uh, it is evening here for me. I'm getting ready for bed. Um, this is going to be my um, tap along before bed. I am doing a few different series um, for my YouTube channel and many of my friends and my Facebook group. So this is video is uh, focused on before bed tapping. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Think of your number. Um, so today I did not have too much of a crazy day, um, but I did wake up a little bit uh, groggy and a little bit lazy uh, since I've been on the quarantine. Um, I've been doing really well. I'm very consistent with my uh, routine, but I have to admit it's getting a little um, more like Groundhog Day each and every day that goes by. So sometimes I have to really push myself to get out of bed and jump up with pizzazz and excitement and enthusiasm. So today, I think tonight, um, this tapping is going to be um, about staying focused, which goes perfectly with my other series, my ADHD series. So as far as with um, staying focused, is, um, I am talking more about staying focused on the goal, on the vision, on the road, on the money, whatever it is, uh, but have your eye on the prize, whatever it is that you say. So for me, I have you know particular goals in mind and I just have to stay the course and stay focused and not lose track and get um, discouraged or feel defeated. So here we go. Let's start. Just follow along with me and repeat either in your head or out loud, wherever you are. It just depends on what your situation is. Even though every day seems like Groundhog Day and every day is uncertain and every day not much better news but I choose to completely love, accept, and forgive myself. Even though times don't seem to be changing or getting better, things are looking really grim right now. Numbers keep going up and numbers keep going down, but still nothing much has changed. I choose to completely love, accept, and forgive myself. Even though it's so difficult to stay focused during times like this, times that seem to be going not so great at the moment, these challenging times that we've never had to face before, but I choose to completely love, accept, and forgive myself. Top of the head. Trying to stay focused. Staying focused is so difficult during challenging times. It's difficult to stay focused. I get so just distracted with silly things. It seems like everything I do does it, I just keep working and doing. Nothing's changing. Nothing's changing. Things don't seem to be getting better. 
the world doesn't seem to be getting better. The world outside me doesn't seem to be getting better. That means things won't get better for me. The world outside doesn't seem to be getting better. I feel like there's no clarity. There's no clear path. Everything's so uncertain. Our leaders are so confusing. My mind gets so cluttered. My life gets so cluttered. I get confused where to spend my energy. I get distracted. I lose focus. I get distracted. It's so easy to get distracted. It's so easy to get distracted. It's so easy to get lazy. It's so easy to give up. I could easily just give up. I could just give up. Why would I give up? What would I gain by giving up? What would I achieve by giving up? What would happen if I just gave up? What if I just gave up? What if I just let go? That sounds better. What if I just let go? Would I be willing to let go of the outcome? Would I be willing to let go of knowing what the outcome is? Would I be willing to trust the process? What would I be willing to do to make all my dreams come true? What would I do differently this time around when everything gets back to normal? What would I do differently to have more focus? What do I choose to do differently moving forward? I choose to know with confidence that I do have focus. I choose to know I do have drive. I do have clarity. I choose to feel confident. I choose and command my mind and body to be focused, to be in control. I choose to be in control of this body, of this mind, of this temple, of this vessel. I choose to be in control. I choose to be in total control. I choose to be in control of my mind and my body and my energy. I choose to be empowered. I choose to be in command. I command and delete And I command that all of the negative energy or energetic ties be released, cut, and deleted from my mind and my body. 
I release all negative ties, energy, pain, memories. incidents, situations, contracts, promises. I release them all, all negative, all dis dissatisfying. I release them all, all of the negative emotion that's holding me back and holding me down. I release it all. I feel my mind, my heart, my body, my soul with loving energy, healing energy, focusing energy, positive energy, creative energy, healing, loving, focusing business. Fill myself up with positive positive, loving, healing energy. So I feel so much better. I feel tingling all over in my fingertips. My heart rate has went down tremendously. I feel so much calmer. My head feels clear. I don't have any physical pain that I can think of right now anywhere. I don't have any tension. And I think I am ready for the night. I'm ready to go to sleep. I feel nice and clear and grounded um, and ready for my meditation and my dreams. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, EFT session as much as I did. I have plenty more um, to come, different series. This particular series is for my night um, tapping before bedtime. And then I have an ADHD, um, ADHD series that I'm doing as well, uh, tappings. Um, for that. And then I have so many more collaborations and partnered up. I've partnered up with other um, practitioners and people that I admire and love. So please, um, at the end of this video, comment below, uh, subscribe to my channel, hit the little bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. And and then until the next time, just keep tapping, be kind, take care of yourself, and just get a good night's sleep. Bye. Until next time, I'll see you later.